Good morning. In banking operation, we cover the topics, mainly functions of banks and different channels, organization of a bank's branch, account opening process, types of accounts in operation, principal methods and process of lending, NPA management, processing of payments, core banking, and about banking frauds. The basic function of a bank Accepting of money from the public by way of deposits and deploying the same by means of loans and investments. Apart from this function, bankers render a variety of services to their customers like providing locker facility, keeping articles in safe custody, collecting bills, checks and so on. While doing so, different types of relationships are created between the banker and customer depending upon the nature of services rendered. Now we will see what are the requirements to be called as a bank. The term banking has been comprehensively defined under the Banking Regulation Act 1949. According to Section 5B of the Banking Regulation Act, the term banking means accepting for the purpose of lending or investment of deposits of money received from the public, repayable on demand or otherwise, and withdraw by check, draft, order or otherwise. According to the definition, the banker is engaged in the business of accepting deposit from the public and utilizing such deposits either for the purpose of lending or for purpose of investment. Let us see what are the essentials laid down by the definition so that we understand fully the scope of the term banking. The acceptance of deposit should be for the purpose of lending and investment. Thus, companies accepting deposit for the purpose of financing their trading or manufacturing business cannot be considered as a bank. The deposit should be accepted from the public, that is, nidhis and multi-benefit societies that accept deposit from their members do not fall under this definition. Even the cooperative societies are also outside the purview of this definition of banking. Acceptance of deposit should be in the form of cash, not in kinds, or commodity. Banks obtain large funds from millions of depositors, the depositors the depositors do not have any control over the management of these banks. Government of the country has therefore to take such steps that would safeguard the interest of the depositors and the public in general. And hence there existed a need to have a comprehensive legislation, legislation in this regard. The important aspects are only a firm or a company and not an individual are permitted to act as a bank. An individual is not allowed to act as a bank and he or she cannot use this term in the business. A firm consisting of not more than 10 partners or a company incorporated under the Intercompanies Act 1956 can be a bank, a banker or a banking company. Under Section 5C of the Banking Regulations Act, banking company means any company that transacts business of banking in India. Section 7.1 of Banking Regulation Act prohibits the use of words banker or banking or banking company by a company other than a banking company. Section 7.2 of the said act further prohibits the use of such words by an individual or a group of individuals or a firm. Money lenders are not bankers. The definition of a banker does not include Indian money lenders, Indian money lenders or Mahajans or Saugars or cities as they are called at different places of India. The main reason for this is that they run their business as individuals or groups of individuals and not as a company registered under the provisions of the Companies Act and the Banking Regulation Act. Accepting deposits of money from the public. Every institution carrying out the business of banking must accept the deposits of money. The deposits of money must be from the public and should not confine to the deposit from their members only. Acceptance of for the purpose of lending or investment an institution Accepting deposit of money without any purpose or with a purpose other than lending or investment cannot be termed as a bank. That means if a bank collects deposit from the public for any speculative purposes or trading, then it cannot be called as a bank. Whatever the license given by the Reserve Bank of India to this banking company will be cancelled if the regulator finds that they don't do the activities of banking as prescribed by the Reserve Bank of India, if they deviate their activities from the acceptable laws, then also RBI can come forward and cancel the license. The deposits so collected from the public are withdrawable by check, draft, order or otherwise. Deposits of money may be repayable either on demand or if they are term deposits on the expiry of the stipulated term period or even before maturity also they can tie back the deposit after paying a certain penalty 
because some of the banks they charge some penalty before withdrawing the amount before maturity these deposit may be withdrawable by check draft or otherwise otherwise means by means of debit card banks refund the money deposited with them to their customers whenever the latter makes a demand for it by check draft or any written order bank themselves will not repay the deposit to the customer unless they come and demand in general we can say that the principal function of a bank is to accept deposit from the public for the purpose of lending and investment in addition to the above principal functions banks are authorized to carry out certain other transactions as provided under section 6 of bank regulation act 1949 some of those important functions covered under that section 6 are discounting of bills collection of checks and bills remittances safe custody of articles hiring safe deposit lockers conducting foreign exchange and transactions conducting central state government transactions issuing letter of credit and guarantees which are of contingent nature 